afternoon, everybody. Dr. Tony Houlihan has been the public face of much of Ireland's response to the COVID-19 pandemic. In his role as Chief Medical Officer, he chaired meetings of the National Public Health Emergency Team, which made recommendations to the government on measures to stem the spread of the virus. At the end of February 2020, he made the announcement confirming the first case here. Over much of the following two years, he was one of the firm fixtures at the daily and weekly press briefings. Dr. Houlihan was appointed as Deputy Chief Medical Officer in 2001 before taking over as Chief Medical Officer in December 2008 and has been around for many controversies since then. When the scandal over the deaths of babies at the Midland Regional Hospital in Port Leash in County Leash came to light, he was widely praised for his review into the affair in March 2014. But the Limerick man also faced controversy over his handling of the cervical check crisis in 2018 when he advised against any external review of the screening program. Following the recent lifting of COVID restrictions, Neffet was stood down to be replaced by a monitoring group which is due to be led by Dr. Houlihan. But after more than two decades in the Department of Health, it was announced this evening that Tony Houlihan is stepping down from his role. The outgoing CMO will now take on a new position as Professor of Public Health Strategy and Leadership at Trinity College in Dublin. For Gal O'Brien, RTE News.